Hello there gamers, what is up? Herbal Gamer here, and we are back with another GTA video. I'm going to be bringing you the Carbonazair, as you can see there, the Grotty Carbonazair Sport. Now, yes, what more can I say? Then we are going to get it, get it on. Got the roof up now, so let's uh, let's move on. And let's just talk quickly about the car. Whoa. It is absolutely insane car. I, I had it on the 360 so it's not a new car but I don't think I don't think I've covered it uh, but I am going to cover most cars again in new game because they look so much better, the mods are so much better obviously we've got the neon lights underneath, I've got it going with my crew so my crew colours so yeah let's just have a quick look inside eh? it looks really nice actually creamy leather reminds me yeah uh, it's like some old not kind of new, but yeah. Anyway, let's drive her in here and let's get on with this. Uh, let's get on with this modding video, this customization video, this all-round awesome video. You know it's awesome, guys. Awesome. Right. So repair this bad boy. Obviously, we've all got armor. We all know about that. And it's quite expensive. It's the top one. When breaks, obviously, you work your way up. All these are. If you go on to them, you can see the item unlocked after winning 12 races in that specific car class so yeah and then obviously it applies for everything you have to do races and win races and partake in races to unlock items to customize your vehicles so then we have the engine upgrade then we have the exhaust so you've got your, your standard single ones or you can have your your triple uh your, your double at both sides so i've obviously gone for the double looks a bit better and then your hood you've got that one which i prefer to the blacked out one i don't like the the carbon hood not not keen on it so I kept it standard. Horns, we all know about the horns. They are they're just annoying. So you've got your headlights, you go from like a yellowy colour to a blue. Neons, which we've obviously talked about before, you can have your loadout as back and sides, front, back and sides, front sides, front, back sides, back, front, etc. And none. So yeah, and then obviously your colours, they're just so many. And they're going to add more, obviously. This is GTA we're talking about here. This isn't... Um, some kind of half broke back game obviously you lost some prevention thing um, so if you park your car straight away when you buy it or you find it on the street put it into your garage then from there you'll be able to bring it in here and mod it certain cars are unmoddable they are too hot which means they are too expensive so you can't have them so you have to buy them instead from the internet so then obviously you have your number plates which we all know about uh, the respray, we will go to there, what's it worth, 263,000, then you, on your spoiler, you start off with the standard one, I quite like that one actually, then you've got your, your second spoiler, mid-level spoiler, and then you've got your high-level spoiler, then you have Suspensiano, there it is from there to there, quite a quite considerable difference, then you have your transmission, obviously not a visual thing again, it is purely inside the engine, etc, so you've got your transmission, then you have your turbo, which again is, is non non visible, but you can hear it actually, it has quite a nice whistle to it. And then you have your wheels, which is again personal preference, and then you have customised your tyres, so you can go stock or you can have the brightening on your tyres as you can see that it changes. And bulletproof tyres, which I, I well, compulsory isn't it? And green tyre smoke, which you know goes with my, my car and my lights. You have your your windows. So that is it for the customization of the carbon as air, the grotty carbon as air. Oh, that was that was delightful, wasn't it, guys? I can take a breath now. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm I'm loving GTA. The first person views spectacular. So let's take this for a let's take this for a spin down this street and see what we can get out of it. Eh? The first person is absolutely excellent. I mean, when you press the handbrake, etc., the lights come on the dashboard, which is always pretty cool. There, you can see it flashing. Same goes with you when you put your lights on. And you can see the little blue on the rev counter. You can see it there. The light is on on the rev counter. It's off. So yeah, the, the detail's pretty cool. The handling I'm getting used to. I must say, I'm really getting used to it. I'm absolutely loving it. So that pretty much brings us to the end of this video, guys. And it's been a pleasure as always. So please do not forget. Just like, just like, share, comment, even subscribe if you want to see loads more GTA content. Obviously, I am in love with this game, and my girlfriend's a bit jealous, but that's tough. So from me, Herbal Gamer, stay safe, stay frosty, and uh, yeah, just cheer up, guys. Goodbye.